Welcome to the world of cringe-worthy money-saving attempts, a place where DIY haircuts and dumpster diving are the norm. Now, we're not here to knock on frugality. In fact, we're all about that budgeting life. But, let's face it, some attempts to save a buck or two can veer off into the land of the absurd and hilarious. We're talking about those moments when saving pennies turns into an Olympic sport. You know the ones. Extreme couponing that ends up looking like a paper mache project gone wrong, or those DIY disasters that transform a small leak into an indoor pool. Today, we're embarking on a lighthearted journey to explore these money-saving tactics that have backfired spectacularly. We'll chuckle, we'll wince, and we'll probably learn a thing or two about what not to do when trying to save money. So buckle up as we delve into the Penny Pincher Hall of Shame. Meet the extreme coupon hoarders, the DIY disaster makers, and the obsessive freebie hunters. Welcome to the Penny Pincher Hall of Shame, where we spotlight the cringe-worthy length some folks will go to save a penny or two. So buckle up and prepare for a wild ride through the world of extreme saving. Let's kick things off with the extreme coupon hoarders, the folks who consider a Sunday afternoon well spent if it involves scissors, a pile of newspapers, and a dream. Yes, they might save a few dollars at the checkout, but at what cost? Hours of their life, a living room that looks like a paper recycling plant, and the judgmental stares of the checkout assistant as they pull out their binder full of coupons, not to mention the awkward silence when the coupon is expired or worse, not applicable. Next we have the DIY disaster makers, the brave souls who believe that a quick Google search equips them with the skills of a seasoned plumber or electrician. Sure they might save a few bucks on a repairman, but when their kitchen is flooded or their lights are flickering like a disco, you've gotta wonder if it was worth it. And let's not forget the added expense when they eventually have to call in a professional to fix their DIY mishap. Then there are the obsessive freebie hunters, the ones who will travel miles out of their way to attend a grand opening for a free hot dog. Yes, freebies are great, but when you're spending more on gas and time than the actual value of the freebie, you've got to question if it's really worth it. Let's not forget about our relentless borrowers, the ones who would rather borrow than buy. From books to power tools, there's nothing off limits. Sure, it saves them a few bucks, but at the cost of their relationships and trust, that's a hefty price to pay. And finally, we have the leftover legion, the brave souls who will keep uneaten takeout in the fridge for days on end, risking foodborne illness, all in the name of saving a few dollars. Leftovers are one thing, but when your pizza slice has its own ecosystem, it's probably time to let it go. Yes, these are some of the extreme lengths people go to save a few bucks. But wait, there's more. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Penny Pincher Hall of Shame. From extreme couponing to disastrous DIYs, these are some of the cringe-worthy ways people try to save money. But remember, while it's great to save money, there's a fine line between frugality and, well, cringe-worthiness. So let's all try to find that healthy balance between saving money and living comfortably, without crossing into the realm of the cringe. After all, we all want to avoid the Penny Pincher Hall of Shame, don't we? If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more cringeworthy content. Brace yourselves as we explore the cringe that spills over into our social lives. Let's start with the restaurant repacker. You know the type. They've got their Tupperware at the ready, swooping in to save half-eaten meals from their plate and sometimes cringe alert from others' plates too. Servers squirm, fellow diners wince. A few dollars saved, but at what cost? Next up we have the notorious Dutch oven abuser. No, we're not talking about camping equipment here, but the ones who insist on splitting the bill down to the last penny, even on casual outings. Your friend had an extra olive in their cocktail? They'll make sure it's accounted for. It's not just awkward, it's downright tedious. Then we have the barter buddy. They're the ones who try to trade their old toaster for your lawnmower or haggle over every single item at the grocery store. Sure, bartering can be an effective way to save some cash, but there's a time and a place. The supermarket checkout line? Not so much. And who could forget the gift regifter? They're the ones passing off that hideous vase Aunt Edna gave them last Christmas as a brand new gift for your birthday. Sure, it's the thought that counts, but when the thought is, I didn't want to spend money on you, it can leave a sour taste. These habits might save a few bucks, but they can also leave a trail of cringe in their wake. It's important to remember that saving money doesn't have to mean sacrificing your dignity or the comfort of those around you. There are plenty of ways to save that don't involve making everyone around you wince. So, next time you're tempted to pull out your Tupperware at a restaurant or haggle over a $2 item, pause for a moment. Consider the social cost of your savings. 
Remember, frugality is fantastic, but let's not forget our manners in the process. Now that's what we call making a not-so-graceful exit. Enough of the cringe already. Let's explore some smarter saving strategies. Now we're not talking about dumpster diving or DIY disasters here. We're talking about practical, socially acceptable, and dare I say it, savvy ways to keep more of your hard-earned cash. First up, and this is a biggie, track your spending and set budgets. You might be surprised by where your money is going. Those daily lattes or impromptu online shopping sprees can add up. Identify areas where you can cut back without feeling deprived. And no, this doesn't mean resorting to DIY haircuts. Next, embrace smart shopping. Coupons can be your friends but only if you use them strategically. Don't hoard them like a squirrel with nuts. Compare prices, buy in bulk when it makes sense and don't be afraid to wait for a sale. Patience my friends can indeed be a virtue. Now let's talk about negotiation. Negotiate your bills and services but do it respectfully. You'd be surprised how far a polite request can get you. But remember, there's a time to negotiate and a time to walk away. Don't be that person haggling over a can of beans. Cooking at home is another great way to save. Not only is it usually healthier, but it can save you a bundle compared to eating out often. And no, microwaving leftover takeout does not count as cooking. Lastly, embrace free activities. Parks, libraries, community events. These are all gold mines of free entertainment. You don't need to spend a fortune to have fun. See, saving money doesn't always have to be a cringe fest. It's about making smart choices, being patient, and knowing when to splurge and when to save. So put away the scissors, step away from the dumpster, and start making saving a part of your everyday life. Trust me, your wallet will thank you. So, what's the takeaway from our journey through the cringe-worthy world of extreme frugality? Well, first off, it's clear that some money-saving habits are, let's just say, more hassle than they're worth. From the time-consuming torture of extreme couponing to the socially awkward barter buddy, some tactics might save you a few bucks. But at what cost? We've all had our own cringeworthy money-saving moments and it's okay laugh at those now. So, go ahead and share your most embarrassing frugal faux pas in the comments. We're all friends here after all. But let's not forget the smart saving strategies we discussed. Tracking spending, smart shopping, respectful negotiation, cooking at home, and exploring free activities. These are all viable ways to save money without becoming the star of your own cringe compilation. Remember, there's a fine line between saving money and being cringe-worthy. Here's to finding a healthy balance and living comfortably. Now if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and strategies. You don't want to miss what we have in store for you.